When looking at this photo, what do you think of? As you can probably tell, this is a photo of me. And I posted this on Instagram last November on my birthday. To tell you the truth, many photos and poses went into capturing the perfect photo. But when thinking that I took almost 100 photos to post just this one, I don't think this makes this a perfectly natural photo. Because although I didn't edit my photos, I don't look like this every day, and if someone took a picture of me right now, I would again not look like this at all. And this is the reality of social media. Just like how my photo isn't completely natural, the supposedly perfect photo you see of that Instagram influencers aren't 100% real either. Most likely hundreds of photos, poses, editing, went into perfecting that perfect one. But based on that one photo we see on social media, we think that this person is the definition of perfect and someone we aspire to be like. And I understand this because I, too, was once in that stage of social media, where it was an everyday cycle of opening up Instagram, scrolling through my feed, looking at seemingly perfect people with the perfect lives, which made me feel insecure about myself and my life. And this is the danger of social media. Because in addition to most of the things we see on social media not being an accurate representation of the person, or not even real at all, it creates a harmful standard within us that causes unrealistic expectations on how we and how our lives should look like. In my opinion, body image is one of the most harmful effects of social media. To simply explain body image refers to your own perspective of your own body and how it compares to societal standards. Society perceives beautiful people, especially women, to conform to unattainable beauty standards. For example, a flat stomach, thin waist, hourglass figure, etc. And these unrealistic standards are, the majority of the time, fake, as most of the photos we see on social media have been edited. Senior director of the Mood Disorder Center at the Child Mind Institute states that photoshops and filters that edit or alter images also contribute to negative body image. Photoshops and filters present people in their best light, so it creates a distorted fantasy and raises the bar on what people perceive as the best way to be. Most Instagram stars edit their body, their skin, etc., so this creates a standard based on what is not real, which is what is so unrealistic about all beauty standards. But because these are the photos that we see all over social media, it causes us to compare ourselves to those ideals. Carla Marie Manley, a clinical psychologist who deals with self-esteem and body image, says that it is natural, if often unhealthy, for humans to compare themselves to others. And when perfect photos of perfect celebrities are put on a pedestal as the best way to be, those who are not able to achieve this truly impossible level of perfection feel shamed and defective. Now, we've talked about the harmful effects of comparing ourselves to what we see on social media. However, what are the effects for the individual posting these photos? According to the New York Times, the more time someone spends editing their photos, the more negative body image they would have of themselves. To explain this, I'll be using an example. Imagine you took a photo of yourself, then edited your waist to make yourself look thinner. You posted this photo and got many, many likes and comments. Will this really make you feel good about yourself? Because if you're filtering and photoshopping excessively, the likes and comments you received in your post aren't directed at the real you. It's directed at this edited, altered, different version of yourself. So how will this affect your own insecurities, your self-esteem, your body image? This will make you feel less confident with your own body and will lead you to continue to edit your photos and feel distressed when looking at the unedited, real you. When linking back to comparing ourselves to what we see on social media, it creates a whole cycle. You post a different version of yourself, feel distressed that the post isn't the real you. Some other person looks at your post and feels distressed about how they don't meet the standard that you created with your fake post. And as you can see, this is a never-ending cycle. Social media also leads to distorted eating or unhealthy behaviors. According to the National Eating Disorders Association, a recent study of women between the ages of 18 and 25 showed a link between Instagram and increase self-objectification and body image concerns. Adding on, four in 10 teenagers have said that images they've seen on social media have caused them to worry about their own body image. Further, the International Journal of Eating Disorders conducted a study on middle school students and found that spending too much time on social media could increase the risk of eating disorders. 
Because adolescents spend so much of their energy, time, and focus on how they're perceived online, it makes them conscious about body image, body shape, calorie intake, and exercise. According to the study, these are the core psychological factors influencing distorted eating behavior. The study found that 52% of girls and 45% of boys skip meals, exercise for an unhealthy amount, and show behaviors associating with eating disorders. Of all participants, over 70% of them were found to have at least one social media account. Overall, a significantly higher risk of eating disorders was observed for those with high social media use. Social media doesn't only harm body image, but could distort our perceptions of our experiences and even our lifestyles. It's important to understand that most people only post the good in their lives, which doesn't mean that they don't have bad days, they just don't show it. So creating standards for yourself of not only body image, but even your own experiences and your lifestyles based on the photo you see on social media is creating a harmful and also a very fake standard for yourself. Furthermore, as the person posting these photos, if I constantly only show my best and special days on social media, I'd feel agonized when my normal, everyday life looks very different. This is because when posting, we are putting our best selves and the best parts of our lives on a pedestal to compare our everyday self to. This makes us dissatisfied with our everyday self and will make us feel even more distressed and will lead to a lower self-esteem and decrease our happiness. Furthermore, it not only harms the self-esteem of the person looking through social media, it is even detrimental to the person posting their photos. However, as individuals living in the era of social media, its use is inevitable. Therefore, I believe that there are ways to decrease the harm that it causes. The first important thing is to really understand that social media is fake and what you see is not real. Coming to fully acknowledge this can really help to limit the comparisons we make to other people. The next factor is to not make social media the center of your life. And finally, it's very important to know if social media is affecting your self-esteem and your happiness. If looking at someone's post makes you feel distressed, it may be the better option to unfollow them. On the other hand, if you feel better after using social media, then continue using it, because it is different for all of us. However, speaking from experience, I personally advise you to really try and limit your social media use and see how much your overall positivity and happiness increases from this. Past me had my life very centered around social media. It was the first thing I looked at in the morning, and even after posting something, I would check back on it all the time to see the likes and the comments I received. Reflecting back, this was very harmful to my self-esteem, my happiness, and how I perceive myself and my life. So dear future me, please keep on working towards self-love and self-confidence and help the many other teenagers who need a hand in this era of social media. Thank you.